So, one of the people who are in video is in the middle So, in this class, uh, we have to discuss about uh, important concept uh, about uh, topic from the classical mechanics. Okay. Uh, that should be a we have to start with uh, introduction uh, from the constraint and generalized coordinate. Okay. So first of all, we have to introduce about this presentation covered uh, the key factor about the physics, then concept, then including constraints, then conservation of energy and momentum. So these are all the topics we have to discuss in this presentation. Okay. So then first two topic, then constraint and generalized coordinates. So what is the uh, definition of a constraint? So then constraints or restrictions that limits the motion of a system that can be either holonomic which depends only on the coordinates or non-holonomic which includes velocities. So uh, we have to remember two important cases holonomic and non-holonomic. Okay, then holonomic only depends on coordinates, the non-holonomic that include velocity also. We have to remember that. What are the types of constraint? So constraint may be classified as fixed, then variable, then kinematic or dynamic. So then fixed constraint does not changes. Okay, then while variable constraint can changes with time or position. These are all the two important types we have to remember while attending the examinations. Okay. So what is meant by a generalized coordinate? How to explain generalized coordinate? A generalized coordinate is one of the parameter is used to describe the system of the configuration. Okay. Then it analyzes the system with multiple degree of freedom by reducing the complexity. Okay. That is the most important. Then generalized coordinate is also an independent system. So then uh, from the second topic then conservation of energy most important. So what is the conservation of uh, energy how to define then uh, what are the importance about the conservation of energy the law of conservation of energy uh, it states that the energy cannot be created or destroyed most important most of the time they should be asking examination so it can only changes forms okay it does not created or destroyed it can only changes forms so this principle is most most important for understanding the isolated system then what is the how to write the equation of energy conservation so the total energy of a closed system can be represented with equations such as kinetic energy and potential energy which is equal to constant so we know that k is the kinetic energy then p is the potential energy so this is the most important while doing the problem for stability analysis so then what are all the applications uh, uses for constraint in physics so the constraint and conservation law are fundamental in various branches of physics that including then classical mechanics then robotics and aerospace engineering it helps analyzing the motion and understanding energy transformation and designing system within the prescribed limits so these are all the applications okay then a third topic today we discuss about that should be a linear momentum most important so how to define linear momentum the product of an object that is mass and its velocity so it is also called as vector quantity because it have both magnitude and direction then how to express linear momentum then p is equal to m b where m is the uh, momentum uh, momentum and also m is represented as a mass and v is velocity okay most most important formula then what is the principle of conservation of linear momentum so this principle state that it is an isolated system the total linear momentum remain constant if there is no external force acting on it okay so this principle is fundamental to analyze collisions and interaction between the objects 
so how to write the equation for linear momentum uh, the linear momentum include there should be initial momentum plus final momentum which is equal to zero for where elastic collusion and in more general form such as the conservation equation there should be a total linear momentum which is constant in where in isolated system in any isolated system then fourth then what is mean by angular momentum so then angular momentum can be defined as then l is equal to r into p where l is the angular momentum then p is the linear momentum then r is the position of the vector so the angular momentum it depends on the axis of rotation so conservation of angular momentum if there is no external torque act on the system the total angular momentum remain constant most important okay so then angular momentum uh, it explain various phenomena bear in rotational dynamics so then angular momentum equations and it diagrams uh, how to uh, write the equation for angular momentum l is equal to i omega where i is the momentum of inertia then omega is angular velocity most important that should be repeating in many times in pgt or b examination while drawing the diagram it represent rotation axis and vector direction for understanding the angular momentum concept so finally we have to conclusion for those topics we have to discuss from the previous slide we have to understand the constraint and what is the conservation of energy for both linear and angular momentum principle is essential in physics for analyzing dynamics okay and it is for problem solving and it enable for advancement in technology okay so i hope uh, this presentation is useful for you overall preparing the examination okay thank you if you do have any question uh, you may write in the comment section okay then meanwhile we have to download the dpn academy from the google play store uh, for uh, regular classes and test batches and answer key batches are also available ongoing okay if you have any queries then we have to call or uh, and also we have to contact through whatsapp and telegram the link will be given in the uh, comment uh, description box okay uh, i hope this video is useful don't forget like this video and subscribe our channel okay thank you